You said I'm a nice guy, you fucking piss your over here, man. Alex, down here for Mosman and Colliers, your new home. Uh, Pat giving you a, a good workout there on yeah, the pads. And yeah, I've done a good pad, polishing up on the pads, and a good hard uh, half an hour circuit on the bag. That was hard, that wasn't it? Yeah, it was graft, mate, but the harder you train in here, the easier the fight will be, but I'm prepared for a hard fight. Well, I, listen, I'm hearing good things. I was down with uh, Chris Conwell, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, he's not, he's just one of many that he's been moving around with. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I asked him, do you think you're ready for this? Yeah. And he said definitely. Yeah, and he's, like Chris, the top lad, um, he's done plenty of rounds in here. He's come down twice a week for the last four weeks. Mm -hmm. We're doing 10 rounds with each other. And any, anyone else who comes through the door, Pat was saying, Alex, you're sparring. I didn't know when I was sparring any day. Mm -hmm. But I've loved every minute of camp. I've enjoyed it's it. It's been a long, long camp. What, we're two weeks away on Saturday, is yeah, it? Yeah, two weeks on Saturday. I've been in camp for nine, ten weeks already. Mm. So it's just like I'm, I've, I've got it all in the tank now, so it's, it's not, I'm not going to get no fit all, but I'm just sharpening up, keeping fit, and what will be will be, but I can't wait to fight. I can't wait to find out. Oh. Like I say, you know, you're not taking Callum Deer lightly. No. Uh, you'd be silly if you did, because, yeah. you know, we all know he was an unbelievable amateur, as we said yeah. in the head to head. Um, but the pro game is a different game. Yeah, it's totally it's different. It's going to be 10 rounds. 10 rounds is a big thing, but listen, I'm more than ready to. If it if needs be, go toe to toe for 10 rounds. I'm prepared to box for 10 rounds, whatever I want to do, I'll do. And, and I believe that I'm going to come out victorious. Well, Pat was speaking highly of you there, mate. You know, uh, yeah. He didn't want me to film any of this sparring. Uh, sorry, any of the pad work. Yeah. But uh, I see an Aston Street now, mate, which I, I perhaps didn't see nine months ago. Yeah, like, like I've said to you before, I was training on my own, so I was, I was going in the gym. And, and here, it's, it's competition, like. You're competing on the on your sprints. You're competing on the bar bar. You comp you're competing on everything. Mm -hmm. You're competing on the sparring. So it, it gives you that mentality where no one's beating you. And I think I'm getting that mentality now where I won't won't lie down for no one. Yeah. And I'm ready to step up to that next level. I say you know, and I think uh, Pat's got good mentality and ethics. He teaches. Yeah. You know, even though you're very aggressive uh, coaching in the way he fights, also very very defensive mind. You don't. Yeah. You don't walk in there and you don't take the shots like you used to. No, the first thing, like, one of the massive reasons why I come to Pat, I was seeing him and Paulie are top trainers, but I watched all the videos on YouTube and the defence that all the lads have got here, they like Zelfa and stuff in the past, mm -hmm. and their defence was brilliant, and that's what I was lacking, and I was lacking a bit of nastiness, so the perfect place for me is here, and I, mean, I've, I know I'm on leaps and bounds under Pat and Paula. Um, so I just can't wait to put, put it on the show on the 17th. And like you say, topping the bill there, that's yeah, a bit of pressure yeah. on you as well. Yeah, I'm buzzing. That's, it's not a pressure though because I thrive on it, it's what I've always wanted to do. Like, obviously, you've got to go through the stages, but I always felt like I'd, I'd get to get here. I think this is where your boxing career really starts yeah. now. Yeah, you know, yeah. Where, even though you are unbeaten in nine fights, this is the first real, yeah. real boxing match. And not only that, it's over ten rounds. Yeah, but it's like I say, that's that's my that's my game. I'm I'm not good over four rounds. Mm -hmm. I, I ten rounds. It's when I spy in the gym, I get just keep getting better and better and better. As you proven to me there, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm fit. I'm really fit. Um, probably the fittest I've ever. It is the fittest I've ever been. Well, that little bit there, I think it was the, the last two minutes. The pack coming there was beasting you on that half an hour that you done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving you no rest. No, and um, 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 you push you. Yeah, like you push me to my limits in the gym, but you know, it's not tough in here. You're not you're not going to dig in on fire night, and I won't, I won't be found wanting in that area. No one, no one got the bigger bigger will to win than me. And how's tickets gone for you, mate? Brilliant. Like, like I say, I can't. Like, that's what I thank everyone who's coming out supporting me. Yeah. It's massive. Um, I've only got an handful of tickets left. I'm gonna have to speak to Steve actually and get see if we've got a few more because I know mm -hmm. it's nearly all sold out. But that's what I thank everyone. So coming out and supporting me means everything to me. So, well, I'll be, obviously I can't say, uh, uh, you're both VIP fighters, yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, may the best man win. Yeah. And I just know, 17th of September, Victoria Warehouse, it's going to be a top, top night. Yeah, it's going to be a top fight. It's, everyone's paying our day money, like I said in the past, to, to come and watch us. So we're put on a great fight for everyone and may the best man win. But the way, the way I've prepared in the gym, I'm, 
I can't see no one beating man Redder. Alright Alex, take care mate. Cheers Lee, thank see you. See you bro. Come on up. Yeah, you've lost it. Man. <laughs> 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 smiling. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't happen often. Yeah, that doesn't happen very often. So when you see Pat Barrett smiling, yeah, that only means one thing. I'm not going to say anything, but that only means one thing. <laughs> <laughs>